Yeah, yeah. Ulas Kumar. Yeah, my name is Ulas Kumar. Uh, I am an environment activist. And uh, regarding the uh, Kundabula movement, uh, I fully support uh, the people who are struggling against the nuclear power plant because uh, nuclear energy is not a very safe energy. Uh, as you all know, it is uh, it will destroy livelihoods. Most of the uh, uh, life forms, including the marine life and human life, will be lost. And for generations to come, that uh, uh, the DNAs and the RNA of every every living species, including the flora and fauna, will be destroyed. And the maximum effect of this is uh, going to be for the Kerala people because uh, the Kerala is on the westerly winds. The winds from uh, uh, Kundakalam will be westerly, so up till uh, Cochin, you will have a severe effect. And uh, you're going to see the fishing community in Kerala or the most of the people in Kerala actually live on uh, the small types of fish called uh, mati which actually breeds uh, on uh, the shore shorelands and uh, where we call chagra. The chagra is actually where the mud banks come up and these chagras and all will get affected with radioactivity and uh, uh, mati gives the protein for most of the Kerala's because it is the cheapest food available. Even vegetables are costlier than the fish. But in uh, future, we are going to see that uh, this fish won't be available. That will remove most of the people who are uh, dependent on this kind of food. And uh, the fishermen who are uh, fishing all these things, their livelihood also will go. And uh, nuclear power plant itself is going to kill uh, not even the, uh, after even uh, even if they switch on the uh, reactor today, uh, after five years only you will get the current. But in that five years, you're going to see maximum number of deaths in the in terms of cancer, in terms of uh, multi-organ failures. All these are going to come even before uh, the uh, reactor is going to become critical. So it's a very dangerous thing. Uh, even the developed nations are backing off from nuclear plants. So, and this technology is a Russian technology, which is a very obsolete, which is very olden. And they have used the very unsafe materials to build this plant. So I am sure uh, it is going to have a very serious impact. Like if you see the indigenous uh, build nuclear reactor like Alpacum, which was done by our own scientists, which is a small plant but still has big impact on the villages nearby. If you go to Kalpakam and uh, to Mayur Kapum or uh, villages near Kalpakam, people all have cancer. People have different kinds of cancer. All the fish come up dead. And the, one of the big impact uh, which I could learn from uh, Kalpakam was Mahabalipuram, which is very close by. Uh, nobody, no foreigners buy fish from there. They, they don't eat, they know it is a radioactive. Kerala, which depends on tourism, uh, is going to, the God's own country will no, be, no more be visited by any of the tourists if Kundangulam is coming up. And uh, the Kerala government is refusing to see this. You are not going to have any tourists coming into a radioactive coast. So the tourism revenue also will go and uh, they will not buy any material. So the populations which depend on tourism will also die down. So it's going to be very serious. I have seen in Kaiga also, in uh, Karnataka, there are also people living near to Kaiga plants, all have cancer. Still it has not become very critical. So, uh, and th these are all very small plants. Kundangulam is uh, 2000 megawatts. It's a heavy plant, very big plant. So we are going to see the uh, effects of nuclear energy. Uh, my alternate suggestion is uh, uh, the India has uh, India being a tropical country, we have uh, enough of sunlight, so we should get the nuclear energy from the sun. And uh, if Germany can uh, get uh, six hours of power, if they can generate so much of uh, solar energy, we can also implement that. Because uh, even even if it is a rainy day, uh, I am sure uh, uh, we can generate a lot of solar energy. And uh, this concept about uh, getting power from the grid should go. Uh, I feel almost everybody should uh, decentralize power and we should live uh, independent of the grid. This will solve a lot of uh, power problems in the country. Also we should look at what type of industries we are promoting. Uh, we, we don't need companies like the car companies or companies which destroy our livelihoods. 
we should look at uh, where the power is going actually. So the, and also if you look at uh, the amount of losses created from uh, our own uh, hydro projects, uh, if you see 40% of the energy which we uh, make is running under loss. So if you change our uh, wiring systems, we can actually generate 35,000 megawatts of power. China has got only 6% loss, we are making 40% loss. So if you change our current systems itself, we don't have to go for more uh, plants, power plants, uh, thermal plants, nuclear plants, all these can be avoided. So it's the policy change and the will of the government which is required. That will is not there today because uh, we are under the pressure from US and there's one, two, three agreements and uh, the agreements are that in case of a liability, it will be shifted to the citizens. So if there is an accident, uh, we have to bear the problems. And I hope all the citizens of Kerala and uh, Tamil Nadu understand this and start fighting against this. We are all with you. Thank you. Thanks.